What weighs 10 tonnes, runs entirely on batteries, has a six-speed gearbox and yet doesn't need to be plugged in? Well, it's this. This is an E700 fully electric truck. And what I'd normally do in these videos is start by telling you the price and the range. Well, I can tell you the price, $425,000 for this piece of machinery. The range, however, it depends on how much you're hauling. It could either do 100 k's per charge or 400 k's per charge. But the most impressive party piece this thing has to offer is that this battery is fully swappable in five minutes. This E700 tractor unit is made by the Chinese heavy machinery company XCMG, which makes everything from cranes of all sizes, to roading equipment, to mining haulers, monstrous excavators, even synchronized dancers. So it makes sense that offer battery powered trucks too, with e-trucks being the reseller here in New Zealand, currently selling a bunch of pure electric trucks, with some of them, like this one, already hauling loads around the country cleanly and quietly. This particular tractor is an E700. It's a big beast with a curb weight of 10.6 tons owing to its massive battery with a gross combined mass of 50 tons. It also has a six-speed Tiptronic transmission, regenerative braking, a 150,000k or three-year warranty, no road user charges at the moment, and a 282 kilowatt hour battery, which can be rapid charged in around three hours, or simply swapped out with a charged one in five minutes. But what's it like to actually drive? For that, I need someone with a heavy vehicle license, such as E-Trucks director, Ross Linton. All right, this is Ross. G'day. So this has a what, 282 kilowatt hour battery, right? Yeah, that's correct. Yep, 282 on this one, 350 kilowatt engine. 2,000 newton meters of torque, is that right? Uh, I think it's 2,800. 2,800? Newton meters, I think, on this one. Okay, so as a non-trucking person, what does that mean? Uh, that's about the same as you'd expect from a from a 500 horsepower diesel truck. Maybe a, maybe a little bit more. Well, let's take it for a blast. This is the quietest truck, even with the air conditioning going, this is the quietest truck I think I've ever been in. <laughs> oh, that is good. So I didn't realise it had a bed in the back as well. Yeah, it's a sleeper cab. One of the things with the, um, the, the battery's fairly heavy, two and a half tonnes. Uh, we've put super singles on this truck, bigger tyres on the front, but that still only gives us uh, seven tonne loading on the front axle. So with the sleeper cab, it just pushes the battery back a bit further, so you've got a little bit a uh, little bit more up your sleeve for um, unusual loading of the trailer. So I'm guessing the average range for a truck like this is going to be somewhere around 200-ish k's, depending on the load. What's, uh, what can the average trucker expect to get with a medium-sized load on this? Well, it depends what you're doing. This is, it's not like a car, there's a whole matrix with um, trucks. If you're doing line haul, you're loaded both ways. Um, so we did a couple of trials down to Hamilton for main freight with uh, this, this truck. Uh, one was at 36 tonne and one was at 41 tonne GCM. Uh, at 41 tonne we would have done about 125 kilometres I think uh, until 20% battery left which is the safe minimum right. for this battery. Or at, um, at 36 tonne we would have done uh, about 140 kilometres. Okay. Uh, but uh, of course that's full continuous, but if you're going at that 36 tonne, if you're uh, out full back empty, like if you're a tanker or, um, or delivering, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, if you're tanker or delivering, then um, you, know, you could expect up towards those 200 kilometre numbers that you're just going to get. Now this one has a bit of a party piece though. There's, you know, as you know, there are thousands of electric vehicles on the road now, but this is, as far as I know, the only one on the roads that has a swappable battery, or at least a vehicle of its size with a swappable battery. What's the, what's the sort of business model for that? Where would that be useful, do you think? There's two main reasons for pushing the electric, uh, the battery swap model. The first one is lithium's heavy. Uh, the battery packs are heavy, so to have a decent daily range on this truck, you'd have to be carrying five tonnes, six tonnes of, of battery around. And so you've got a real penalty on paying load capacity on the truck. With this truck, because we can swap the battery so fast, there's no particular need to uh, carry so much battery around with you. So with this truck, we only carry two and a half tons. We can do that 
120, 140 kilometres, swap the battery out in around about six minutes, get the, get the truck back on the road and earning money. The model they use in, in China is, um, is really starting to gain traction now. I saw the figures for the heavy truck sales in China in January. Uh, they sold roughly 2,200 heavy electric trucks in China in January and only 20 of them didn't have a battery swap system. Really? So it's, it's, um, it's certainly winning the argument in China. Oh, wow. Now this vehicle has a gearbox which is pretty unusual for electric vehicles. The main reason is I think it, it, it makes it a little bit simpler to um, control the motor. The motor doesn't have to control a truck with 50 tonnes from uh, zero kilometres an hour to 90. It, it's only in, in staggered sections. Having said that, the, um, the technology is, is changing pretty fast. Our next uh, E300 4 2 truck will have uh, integrated axles, so it'll be single speed. So I think really what we're looking at here is an evolution from uh, diesel trucks with automatic transmissions into electric trucks. So it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's, it's what's available now, basically. This has to be a pretty exciting time to be in your business. Yeah, it is. Yeah, every um, yeah the uh, the changes are coming thick and fast. Uh, with um, and we're, we're we're really happy to be tied up with XEMG, who are currently the market leaders for uh, heavy electrics and, and trucks in China. Um, so uh, yeah, we're pretty happy to be in the space. We're in. What sort of cost savings are you getting per kilometre using this instead of a diesel truck of comparative size? A total cost of ownership is a hard hard thing because you've got to work out. Um, the usage, how many kilometres are you going to do? That, that's that's the key to it. So, uh, with with the normal use for our uh, smaller trucks, the um, the saving of not paying diesel, and this is the numbers are changing pretty quickly. The, when you're paying a dollar fifty for diesel and um, about eighteen cents a kilowatt hour, it's and not paying road user charges on the smaller trucks, it works out about the same as paying uh, 35 cents a litre for diesel uh, at the moment. I wanted to ask you about you know the difference in noise levels, but uh, you've been in electric transport so long, I guess you got used to it. Yeah, I have. Because the loudest thing in this vehicle right now is the air conditioning. Yeah, the, certainly they're super quiet. You can hear without that fan going, you can hear a wee bit of diff noise. Oh yeah, that's in, what that is. Huh? In the background, you'll also hear it changing gear. I'm guessing uh, that you wouldn't hear in a diesel diesel vehicle, you, you wouldn't hear all those noises you can naturally hear in electric vehicles. They're masked by internal combustion. Yeah, that's right. And one one thing we do find on these trucks is we spend a lot of time looking for rattles. Oh, uh, really? Which perhaps, <laughs> perhaps you wouldn't notice if it was a, if it was a diesel truck. <laughs> so just encourage them to turn the radio up. Yeah, we'll do that. Speaking of battery swapping, eTrucks has taken ownership of a swapping unit in their Penrose workshop which will be able to swap out this tractor's 282 kilowatt hour pack in less than 5 minutes. That in itself is interesting but Ross says there are other options they're offering too, such as this relocatable multi-battery swapping system which can be delivered on site, allowing entire fleets to swap out their batteries in less time than it takes to refill a tank of diesel all while being able to run on clean, renewable electricity. And that's my cue for a quick plug for Ecotricity, New Zealand's only certified carbon zero electricity provider. Meaning every single electron they produce is not only competitively priced, but it's also 100% clean, made from this great country's bounty of renewable resources. That means trucks like these can not only cost mere cents per kilometre to operate, but also play a massive part in reducing emissions. And that is good news if you were born with a pair of lungs, and even better news if you care about your kids and grandkids' futures. So make the move today at ecotricity.co.nz. But now back to the truck of the future, which is driving around today. What's the feedback you're getting from customers? Or should I say, how's business going? We're getting um, a lot of inquiry uh, for uh, trucks. It's moving now more from just individual uh, trucks to fleets. Uh, people, people looking at putting in uh, a fleet of trucks. And now I guess they're getting a bit more accepted. The next step for us is, is this year when we've, we get um, at least seven of these trucks out working all day every day. Uh, one of our customers is looking at running, doing a shuttle shuttle um, shift from uh, 
Auckland to Hamilton, and that truck will more or less be running 24 hours a day. Wow. Uh, so that's it's not line haul, but um, you, you can see it from there. Uh, so that's uh, that's going to be uh, a good test and also sort of proof of concept that electric trucks with battery swap uh, can be used in that sort of application. If you have to stand around for two hours, three hours, four hours to get the battery charged, then there's no way. But with battery swap, that all of a sudden becomes a realistic proposition. Have you I noticed guess. that uh, a lot of truck drivers are turning their heads and looking at this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's making waves, quietly. It's, especially when you're towing one of their trailers. Um, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, you, you know, we've borrowed trailers from different people to load test this uh, this truck, and uh, yeah, they then, then they uh, then they take some notes. Well, that was a bit of fun. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, that was an experience, and I learned a lot. Now, it's true, I'm not a truckologist. I don't know everything there is to know about trucks. That being said, I learned a lot. And I've also seen over the last decade on social media people telling me that trucks just can't be electric. The technology doesn't exist. The technology's not there yet. It's not feasible. But the fact is they do exist. They're here, and they're selling right now. So if you are a trucker, first of all, thank you. You guys do not get the respect you deserve. You keep our country moving. Secondly, I know you're feeling the pinch from the rise in prices of petrol and diesel right now, so Perhaps it's time to crunch the numbers and see if one of these will work for you. And if not for your pocketbook, then maybe for your kids and for their kids.